Hello, and welcome to another informational interview with East Los Angeles City College. I'm your host, Haile Gabrielle Lopez McDonald, and today we are going to be interviewing with Reggie Prepetit and what he does in his field of work. Hello, Reggie. How are you today? I'm doing good. And yourself? I'm doing fantastic. And now, before we get into all the questions, I just wanted to ask if you could let everyone know what you do exactly. Absolutely. Well, currently, I'm a pharmaceutical sales representative by day, uh, father by night. But uh, truly, I am technically an executive urology sales specialist in the pharmaceutical sales industry. It's what I do for a living by day. Fantastic. And can you tell us a little bit about what the path to there looked like for you? Well, for me particularly, you know, my path, when I went to college, I was a psychology uh, pre-med major, so I had every intention of going to medical school and becoming a doctor and following in my father's footsteps, but as I got into college and realized by second, third year, it just wasn't really something for me. I wanted something where I could actually show off my personality and being outgoing and being someone that could actually go into different environments and actually sell something. I mean, I always thought of myself as a natural seller. So I wanted to find an industry which would actually blend the two. And you know, when I thought about it, I've always wanted to get into pharmaceutical sales. I remember being a young child and just seeing those representatives come to my dad's office and talk about their various medications. And I figured it'd be a nice way for me to kind of blend the two things I love to do. I've always wanted to be a doctor, so I can still talk to them, but yet also love to sell and be kind of that, you know, that personality in the room. So I found this industry to be not only rewarding, but something I was looking forward to get into for the simple fact that I'd be able to help people. So would you say, you know, now that you've said all that, would you say that one of the most important skills in your field would be the ability to persuade or like communication as a whole? Well, I wouldn't say the ability to persuade. I think that just comes naturally with the time, but I would say communication is key. I mean, communication is key is more than just in my industry, but I just in life in general, whether you're in class with your family and friends, I mean, those that really make it in whatever field they choose to be in, is understanding how communication, the effect of listening and you know responding to certain questions and just talking to someone directly actually influences so much whatever you do in life. It just has to be a very good qualifying skill for me in my industry because I'm talking to people that are short on time. So if I can't really communicate with the physician in a timely manner, I might even lose the opportunity to even do what I'm there for, which is to sell my product. So to answer your question, I would say communication is probably a great skill set to have my industry, but I also say to have in all industries, period, just to have that ability to have that interaction with people. So what are some things that you look forward to in your job? Maybe not every day, but what's something right now that you're like, oh man, this is great. I'm, I'm going to be able to do this at my job. Or what, what's something that, that gets you excited about your job? Outside of having a free car to use every single day and no gas payments, I mean, that's for sure. But honestly, it's the interaction with the customers. I mean, every single day, I get to a new set of offices, a new set of office staff members, and I just get to know people. Like, I mean, going out there and just interacting with people and trying to find a way to come to a common ground to, to me personally and professionally to know that I've helped someone manage whatever disease state that they're actually suffering from at the time. So you've told us about all these great things that you're doing. What is the next great thing you see yourself doing within your field or even outside of your field? What, what do you see in the next five, 10 years? What, what is there for Reggie? What is there for me? Well, honestly, for me in the next five years, my personal goal, short and long, are at this company is taking on a management role. I mean, I've been a sales representative for over 18 years and I've enjoyed being in the field. I think it's time to give back in a sense. Like I want to help groom a team to help them get to reward themselves and be at the top of their game when it comes to selling. So what I see for myself in the next couple of years is becoming a manager, a regional sales manager. And the reason why I want to take on that role more importantly is in terms of giving back, I know for a fact when you think about companies and diversity inclusion, the only way you're gonna get people of diverse candidates and background is usually to be a diverse candidate yourself. So if I'm in the position to actually hire others that remind me of myself or look like me at the end of the day, I believe that they have a better chance to get in this industry I mean, data does show that most likely for a person with diverse back to get into a company like this, it has to be most likely recruited by a person with diversity, which it shouldn't be, but in actuality, we know it is. So I think that that would be my next step. I mean, I've been very successful in my industry and what I've done, but I think to give back, I would have to find someone else to help get them in this industry as well. I love it. I love it. Best way to give back, honestly, Reggie. Thank you. Yeah. And I 
I wanted to thank you for giving us your time, your energy, your wisdom um, to the ELAC students and me as well, also an ELAC student. And um, I hope you have a beautiful day.